Assalamu alaikum, hi and good morning everyone. We are from group 6 and on behalf of my group, I will be presenting our slides today. Allow me to introduce my group mates, Carmen, Hezi, Aina, Zulaika and lastly me, Amiruddin. The topic that we would like to share with you guys is about banks, mortgage company, credit union and the summary of the whole topic. First off, what is a mortgage? Mortgage is some kind of loan that borrower gets from financial institution that helps them to purchase a house. This mortgage usually takes about 25 years or more and the advantage borrower can get is it will ease the borrower financially and the house payment is manageable for them. Moving on to the next slide is types of financial institution that we chose. There are three types of financial institution in Malaysia, which is the local bank, for example, Maybank, Maybank Islamic, and Public Bank. Second is mortgage company with the company called AIA Malaysia. Lastly is credit union, the co-op bank pertama. For Maybank Islamic, the product we chose is Commodity Murabaha Home Financing I. Maybank is Maxi Home Flexi Loan. Public Bank is Five Home Plain. And AIA Company product is AIA Fixed Rate Home Loan. And for Co-op Bank Pertama is Housing I. Now we will see each of the previous institution loan type. First is Maybank Islamic that uses Islamic financing term. What is interesting about this loan is that there is no such thing as interest charge. In this loan, it is stated that the bank will purchase the house first as the legal owner and later on the bank will list it to the borrower every month. For Flexi Home Flexi Loan in Maybank, it is stated that they use Flexi. This loan allows borrowers to make an additional payment or withdraw any excess home loan without approval procedure. For Public Bank, they use Semi Flexi, which is, has a little difference with Flexi. The only difference is that Semi-flexi said that any excess payment is directed straight to principal payment. In AIA fixed rate home loan, they only use the basic term loan. The way this loan works is the bank state first the interest value to the borrower. Then the borrower are aware of the amount that are needed for them to pay later on. The last one is called Bank Pertama with Mora Baha. Tawaruk. In this loan, the borrower can have a long-term loan and have the access to the finance so they can use it for their personal use. So from all the institutions mentioned earlier, we prefer only three loan types which is the Islamic financing, the semi-flexi and the Murabaha. Okay, next I will explain on the interest type first. There are three types of interest rate. The first one is the fixed rate. Fixed rate means that the interest rate won't change no matter what the condition it is from the market. What is good from this loan is that the borrower can plan their repayment accurately. Second one is floating rate. This is opposite from the fixed rate, which the rate can change at any time. The rate can increase or decrease depends on the market condition. So 
this may cause the borrower to have troubles in planning their budget. Lastly is the combination of both rate. The interest rate will remain fixed at a time after changing it to floating rate. As you can see, we have chose only two institutions, my bank Islamic with the low interest rate, 3% per annum, and public bank, which has the lowest rate between the five institutions with 2.97% per annum. We chose this because both institutions have fixed and floating type of rate which are favorable for the borrower. Next slide is tenure and finance margin. What is the meaning of tenure? Tenure is the time period for borrower to repay back the loan. Basically, a tenure will last up to 35 years. For finance margin, I will show the four institutions first, which it takes about 90% from the total loan that the borrower has. And the other 10% will remain as a down payment. So, for we took example like Bayer X who wants to borrow about 350 ringgit, 350,000 ringgit, then he will only get up to only 315,000 ringgit only. Different from maybe Islamic, where they offer up to 100% of finance margin. They granted a full amount of loan because the down payment is excluded from the loan. So, this is why maybe Islamic is the most favorable in this case. For lock in period, <clears throat> lock in period is the time where the borrower are restricted to make claim or sell their investment for about two to five years depending on the institution. They also cannot make any refinance like borrower cannot make any new loan to pay other outstanding loans. The longest lock-in period is AIA Malaysia with five years, Maybank and Public Bank with three years, or Bank Pertama with two years except for Maybank Islamic with no lock-in period which is why it is again the preferred financial institution. In insurance type, I will explain more on MRTA first as it is the most common one in here. So MRTA are used by Maybank, Public Bank and AIA Malaysia. MRTA is an insurance that helps to cover any sudden death or total permanent death financially which has the reasonable price. For MRTA, they don't have any Islamic financial principle which is slightly different from MRTP that are used by Maybank Islamic and Co-Bank Pertama. The only difference between these two is MRTT provides the full coverage to people who have Islamic bank home finance. In this slide, all of the fees and charges are the same except for Kaobeng, Kaobeng Pertama because they don't have any of this. So the late penalty fee is when a borrower are charged by the lender if there is a case of overdue and repayment period. For redemption letter fee, the lender will send a legal document to the borrower. The amount of the amount of payment they need to pay for home home loan fully. The last one is EPF withdrawal fee where the borrower use EPF to settle any down payments, a new home or principal repayment. But they cannot use this to make any home renovation at all.
So the penalty fee and redemption letter fee is the same for the four institution with 1% per annum and 50 ringgit per request respectively. And for the APF withdrawal fee, 10 ringgit per request for Maybank and 20 ringgit per request for Public Bank and AIA. Early Settlement Fee Early Settlement Fee is to compensate for the interest if the loan is paid off early before it, before it matures. For Maybank Sami and Kobank Sama, they don't have any of this fee except for Maybank and Public Bank with 2% and 3% and 0.62% per annum plus with 0.4% administrative fee. Processing fee is to cover credit checks and other administrative procedure. For Mabing Islamic and Public Bank, they have the same fee ranging from 50 ringgit to 200 ringgit. And for Mabing, they have 200 ringgit. Co Bank Pertama with the minimum one, with the minimum of 300 ringgit or 0.5% from the total of finance. All in all, every product has been compared detail by detail. So the most suitable or preferable feature is the commodity Murabaha Home Financing I by Maybank Islamic. A tough decision because public bank offers the lowest interest rate compared to Islamic bank, but it cannot surpass maybe Islamic other features. As you can see from the slides, they do not charge for early settlement fee. They ban interest charge or in Malay riba, and they also protect the borrowers from being exploited by financial institution. So it says Commodity Murabaha Home Financing I by Maybank Islamic is the best mortgage brand. Thank you everyone. Have a good day and stay safe.